As you might have, may have seen this week, the future of the Riverfront Times is uncertain tonight after the weekly newspaper was sold this week and its staff fired. We are still working to find out who is the buyer and if it plans to keep the paper around. Well, newspaper circulation all across the country has been declining since the early 90s. According to the Pew Research Center, there were more than 60 million weekday and Sunday papers going out to Americans in 1990. But if you look at the year 2022, that number was down all the way to 20 million. As newspapers put more resources into their website, more Americans did start viewing their content online, but those numbers have also dwindled in recent years. So there's a lot to talk about with that. With me today to talk about the state of newspapers and other trends we are seeing in media is Jerome Katz. He is a professor of management at St. Louis University's Business School. Jerome, thanks for being here. So if you could look in your crystal ball and look at the future of newspapers, what does that look like? And is there enough uh, interest, I should say, for regular circulation for that to happen? Nationally, absolutely. The challenge is a whole lot greater for local newspapers. Uh, the Washington Post and New York Times are always going to have a, a national audience and thousands of people subscribing from places like St. Louis and small towns. Can a newspaper like uh, uh, ours, our Post-Dispatch, uh, survive? It will. It moves more and more of its operation online and try to get us to go with that. Probably the print version is destined to uh, shrink down to nothingness, but they'll continue online with the uh, local news coverage and uh, local uh, uh, authors that we are used to and trust. And when we talk about the RFT, they kind of serve a very specific niche in here in St. Louis. What is going to be the impact of them specifically going away if that's what they are doing? At this moment, the folks I'm most worried about are the creative class here in St. Louis because RFT had been a tremendous resource for them. Uh, they would reach out into the most fringy areas first and give these people a voice and a platform to promote their art and finding those alternatives for those folks is going to be tough. I think this is going to be a tough summer uh, uh, to get the word out. Other, the other thing is that they would also take on uh, investigative pieces that no one else would. And uh, I think we'll all be a bit uh, poorer for that. Let's talk about social media, because obviously a lot of people getting their news and information from social media. The information that people can get, it's pretty immediate anytime that happens, it impacts traditional media that includes radio and TV. So talk about some of those impacts that social media is having on these more traditional landscapes. Well, social media depends on print media to get some of their material. Uh, one of the challenges that uh, we're, we're facing here in America is getting social media to pay to access uh, news feeds from TV stations and newspapers. We don't have a solution for that right now, but added to the mix is this whole thing about the AI companies are being sued by newspapers and TV stations for their appropriation of uh, the content that you folks create. So this is a, a major problem with the American business model, but it's being faced around the world. Uh, I heard that in Australia, there actually is a system in place to get uh, the social media platforms to reimburse new papers. We'll probably see more of that here, especially because we're going after such big bucks with these AI companies. Yeah. Uh, is there more of a viable option, though, that uh, maybe there, it doesn't exist yet that you could see for people to get news and information that maybe we haven't even thought about yet? There are so many specialty approaches that are coming out. In fact, one of the things that AI platforms are, coming, uh, are beginning to do is let you identify the kinds of things you want to learn about and it will go up and find the kind of uh, news feeds that will provide you the information. It's fun to see some of these platforms will even uh, give you a chance to, uh, the equivalent of Google's I'm feeling lucky button, yeah. where you say I'm feeling lucky and get hit with news items that you normally wouldn't read hmm. just to give you a flavor. Very interesting. All right, Jerome Katz, really appreciate your insight. Thank you. My pleasure.